Everybody, uh, this is Chase Ritchie, and I'm here to talk to you about a uh, a simple um, beginner's lesson of bending. So, if you're already bending notes, please uh, go ahead and just stop the video and go see my advanced bending video. Um, there are great other videos out there on bending by uh, on simple bending by a lot of great teachers, and that's why I haven't made one. But I got a lot of requests to make one. I guess because uh, as every player brings something to the, different to the table, perhaps uh, teachers do too. Well, anyway, let me give you the breakdown of how to how to bend notes. First of all, you have to know what holes you can bend. Okay, so if you're one of the people that's going to write, go on and get on with it, man. You can go to another video right now, okay? Because you got to know what holes to bend before you can start bending. Holes one through six on the inhale or the draw bend. See, the harmonica's got little numbers up there. This is a C harmonica. Okay, if anyone's wondering, it's a marine band with um, special 20 cover plates on it, okay? So, and it's in the key of C. <clears throat> so, what you do, okay, is you first figure out what holes bend, holes one through six, and then you gotta figure out how to bend the notes. Bending notes can be frustrating at first because it's one of those things that once you do it, you'll be able to do it. But until you do it, you're going to be like, what's happening, okay? So what you need to do is experiment. And I can give you a few little techniques to try during your experimentation that hopefully will move you closer to achieving your goal, which is bending a note a half step or more, okay? So what are those things? Well, the first thing you got to be able to do is get a single hole, okay? That's the one draw. Now everybody has a different hole that they bend through one through six the first time, okay? For some people it's easier to get the six draw. Other people it's the four. Other people it's the one because it's right on the bottom. It'll be different for you than it was for somebody else. How do you get that note? How do you make a harmonica do that? Okay, what you do is, John Gindick described it in his book, I think he was the first one to use this method, and it works, is saying the words E, like E, 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 H, U, E, U, but you say them while inhaling, okay? Now my jaw is going lower on the U, so I'm going E, U, E, U, E, U, like some kind of chant, okay? So the other thing you can do is add a T sound to that. So instead of saying E, U, you're saying T, T, O. Now how do you get a T sound? You do it by hitting your tongue against your two front teeth, the same as if you were saying T toe, T toe. It just hits right there. I got my first bend using that technique. I didn't even know about the EO thing. I just started using my tongue to articulate that note. It gives it a staccato effect. Here's the two draw. That's my very first bend sounded probably something like that. So I'm just going T-to, 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 okay. Now once you get your bends, you can use that to make them sound oh, like staccato-y, really uh, punchy. And on and on, okay. Okay, and you can use the, that tuss sound to articulate, if you're lip pursing especially. And it really helps you get around faster. Okay, anyway, so one through six. Now, not every hole bends the same amount, okay? Hole one bends a half step, the same as the distance between a white key and, it, and its first black key on the piano. The two draw bends a whole step. So there's a, there's a half step in the middle.
or a three draw bends a step and a half or three bend notes after the natural. Here's the natural. Then it goes. Or. Isolating these bends is the key to playing things like. Okay, you know what I mean? So it's just playing that, it's getting. Okay, so when you get a really good at them, that's what you can do with them. Again, see the advanced video. The four draw only bends a half step. Okay, and the five draw doesn't even bend a half step, it only bends um, a microtone. But you can still use it like little Walter played a lot of. Okay, so like that. The six draw, also only a half step. Okay, so. Okay, or T2, T2. Okay? So that is basic bending. Now, what you want to do is stick with it. <clears throat> I'll make another video eventually on blow bends, which are holes 7 through 10. But these are the main notes that compose blues and cross harp. So these are the ones you want to focus on. What you want to do is stick with it. Don't give up. Try it playing hard, as hard as you can, and then try it playing as soft as you can, and then try it in the middle. Do whatever you have to do. Stand on your head if you have to. Lie down on the bed might be helpful and try it. Whatever you have to do to get that first bend, because once you feel it, you'll know what it's like. And then once you know what it's like, you'll be able to repeat it. But you got to get to that first stage where you get the actual bend. So don't give up because once you get it, it's there. You're, you probably won't lose it, okay? I remember the first time I got vibrato. It's the same kind of thing with vibrato. You just practice it and practice it and practice it. And almost like one day it just kind of clicks. And um, I was so scared I was going to lose the vibrato that I like went into the bathroom and did it for like eight hours. Um, that night and when I woke up I was terrified it was going to be gone and I, I went you know right back to doing it again and luckily I could do it so don't be scared and don't give up try it all the time bring a harmonica in the car and do it when you're not paying attention it might happen then when you're not putting so much intent on having it happen and um, you know do, do it whenever you can um, anytime you can just don't give up is the main key because once you get this bending it'll be with you forever Thanks, I hope that helps, and I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> <laughs>